Hey guys, it's Leanne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are not new here, if you are new, then welcome. So today's look is just an extreme highlight and contour look where I talk through each technique and the reason behind why I'm doing what I'm doing. So if you're a beginner or even if you are already quite established and good at makeup, there might still be a few tips that, you know, you didn't know that you might learn so keep on watching i will leave my instagram down below so follow me there and also can you please subscribe and turn on the notification bell before we jump in to this tutorial now the first product i'm going to be starting off this tutorial with is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks and I've got the medium trio. First of all, I'm going to be taking the shade Bamboo. Now, this is just a concealer for me and I'm just going to be rubbing this on the back of my hand just to warm up the product. And what I'm going to be doing now is just taking this over the areas where I do have redness and any blemishes. Just places like around the nose, chin area, I have a spot here. So I'm just going to be putting this in places where I need extra coverage. A little bit on the cheek side say as well so yeah i do have a lot of redness in certain areas so now that that's on the skin i'm just going to be joining that to its little friends and i'm just going to be taking my sigma hd beauty sponge and i'm just going to be pressing this into the places where i've applied So we can see how full coverage the matchsticks are just by how much it's just taken away any redness, any blemishes. I'm going to be taking the matchsticks now in the shade Mocha, which is the shade I'm going to be using to contour. And again, I'm going to be warming this on the back of my hands because it works so much better and it's easier to blend if you warm the product up first. So I'm going to be taking the 110 foundation brush from Fenty Beauty. I'm just going to be getting a little bit on the brush and simply... Wow, we can see how much came off just off my hands. I'm simply going to be putting this just under the hollows of the cheeks and a little bit up onto the forehead. Just making sure that the brush has got a generous amount on. A little bit up onto the sides of the forehead. So I'm going to be going back in now with the first matchstick, which was in the shade Bamboo and this is called reverse contouring so i'm just going to be putting a little bit of highlighter well cream highlight underneath the contour which makes it stand out so much more so to blend this i'm going to be going back in with my sigma hd sponge and i'm just simply pressing this into the skin So now I'm going to be going back in with the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Mocha again. And I'm going to be doing cream contour now. So I'm going to be taking this down the back of the jaw, a little bit underneath. And again, a little bit down the back of the jaw. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working in stages because these matchsticks can be quite drying at first, dry down quick. So I'm going to blend this out now and then I'm going to do the rest of the face as I go. So I'm going to be going back in with the Fenty Beauty 110 foundation brush. Now this is a very good brush for this product I'd say. The Fenty Beauty foundation brush works very well with the matchsticks. Because it's quite a tough, tough dense brush. So it's good for really pushing the product into the skin and moving the product as well. So I'm just going to be pushing this contour down the back of the jawbone. I'm pushing it back to the ear. And then when I come under here I'm going to be pushing it up onto the jawline so when we get to this part we're pushing it back to the ear as that makes it look the most natural and like it's not fake <laughs> contour is it looks as if that's given my jaw a stronger stronger line and that's because it appears that there's a shadow there because you've put obviously contour so contour darker colors shrink things that's why black is a slimming color so if we put contour 
anywhere on the face then we need to understand that that's the part of the face that we're trying to make look smaller so here because i'm trying to make my cheekbones appear more sunken and angled then it makes sense to contour just under the cheekbones however contour if you do it correctly it can actually make things appear bigger so for example what i'm going to show you now is if you put contour underneath your bottom lip it will appear as though your bottom lip is that full that it's creating a shadow that it's overhanging let me just show you so same brush again guys so can everyone see just by putting a little bit of contour and making sure it's blended in my bottom lip now looks a little bit more pouty and a little bit more bee stung and that's because we've put contour under here therefore there's a shadow underneath my lip so it'll make it appear bigger so contour it can be used for different things like i've explained on the cheekbones we want them to look more angled and more sunken in so therefore we're using contour to make things recede and appear a bit more hollow and angled but then here on the lips we're using it to make things appear bigger so it's all just an illusion basically so now i'm going to show how contour gives definition to the lips to the top lip now so i showed you the bottom lip i'm going to be going in on the top lip so i'm just going to be taking my matchstick and i'm just going to be running this just in the cupid's bow instantly our eyes are drawn here but i know it does need it does need blending in i am aware of that but even when it's blended in so i'm just simply taking a little real techniques eyeshadow brush this is the real techniques deluxe crease brush it's a clean one and i'm just literally patting that contour stick and even now we can see how much the eye is drawn here because I've put a shadow in there, it appears that this is a lot more full. So these are all good tips for anyone who actually does want who actually does want bigger lips. So again, I'm just gonna keep doing lip contour now, create more of a shadow. Now I'm just gonna be taking my deluxe crease brush and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of nose contour now. Just drawing two lines down either side of the nose. But the thing is, we want to make sure that these lines are straight. Can we see by just adding two lines of contour how straight my nose looks? By adding a little bit of contour just to the tip of the nose, that's going to make your nose appear smaller. So shorter, actually, yeah. It's going to make your nose appear shorter. And a good tip to make contour look less fake and a lot more natural is to join the nose contour lines up into the front of the brow so i'm just going to go back in now with a little bit more and i'm just joining the front of the brow to these nose contour lines so now what i'm going to do is just press these contour lines in but we don't want to move any product around so just be very careful just that you are just pressing the product into the places where you've applied it. To conceal the under eye, I'm going to be taking the NYX Professional Makeup Colour Correcting Concealer. A palette that's got six different colours in and I normally take the two salmon shades. I'll normally just take this on a finger. Just put it only in the places where I need it to. For me, that's just directly here. So salmon colours as well. So these two like orangey, salmony, peach colours. That will counteract any blue under the eye. So if you've got any blue bags, salmon is a perfect colour for neutralising blue tones. I'm just going to be taking my Sigma HD sponge and I'm just going to be adding this product in. In comparison to a beauty blender, this sponge does not so soak up as much product, meaning more product stays on your skin. So therefore, I find it gives a more full coverage to the under eyes and foundation when I do blend in with this rather than a beauty blender. So I'm going to be going in now with one of my Holy Grail concealers. I'd even say it's actually my favourite concealer. So this is the Elf Hydrate and Finish Camo Concealer. This is a satin finish concealer. But to me, it looks really matte. But why I do love it is it's because it's very, very full coverage. I would even say that this concealer is comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape, which is like so much more expensive than this. Because this is an extreme highlight and contour, I'm just going to take this down the sides of the nose. Another little tip is if you lift the concealer upwards, it'll give the 
it'll give the eye a lift so if we just stop it here that's fine that'll still look lifted and brought forward and that's okay but here if we drag the concealer upwards of course everything's an illusion so it's going to give the appearance that my eye is more lifted i learned that off candy johnson's extreme highlight and contour video and this is the first time i'm trying it out today but it totally makes sense that of course if you give a lift with the concealer naturally your eye will look lifted and i'm just gonna do a little bit on the chin a little bit down the bridge of the nose a little bit on the forehead just my usual places so i'm just gonna leave this concealer on the skin for a little bit because the more you leave a product on the skin to just settle on the skin rather than just go in and blend it straight away the more full coverage your product will be i'm also going to go back in with the fenty beauty match sticks in the shade mocha and i'm just going to do a little bit more contour on the forehead just doing an extra bit of contour just at the back towards the ear slash the hairline so i'm going to go back in now with the fenty beauty 110 foundation brush and i'm just going to be pressing this into the skin so like i've explained it's a really really good brush for blending in dry products i.e rihanna's original foundation and these matchsticks it's a really really good product for that so make sure that that goes right into the hairline so we don't see like more of a lighter skin tone and then just loads of contour we want it to look like it as natural as possible so that's the reason why i am blending this contour into my hairline and i'm going to be pushing this contour into the skin and if you notice i'm actually pushing the contour up rather than dragging it down because we want the cheekbones to look lifted it makes sense that we would brush the contour up so don't swipe it down because then our cheekbones will look lower which is not the effect that i'm going for anyway now back to my HD sponge and same on the forehead and I am not using any foundation for this look. So I'm squishing my beauty blender together now because I want my nose to look as slim as possible but this is just a tip for anyone who feels like maybe they've got a bit of a wider nose. So I'm just sort of pinching my Sigma sponge together and I'm just keeping the line down the bridge of the nose as thin as possible. And that's because that's how wide or narrow our nose is going to look depending on the width of this line of cream contour so now i'm just going to be going back in with the sponge and i'm pressing the concealer to the sides of the nose as this will also make the nose appear slimmer again just pressing that concealer to the sides of the nose so again that's giving my eye a lift but to set the under eye i'm going to be going in with the fenty beauty powder in the shade lavender so this is the lightest shade and to do this i'm going to be taking my fenty beauty sponge and i'm just going to be dipping the tip in before i actually bake this under eye what i'm going to be doing is running underneath just with a zoeva 227 Lux soft definer brush i'm just going to make sure that there is no creases before i actually bake the under eye And again, I'm just pressing that powder down the sides of the nose, which this, this beauty blender is shaped perfectly for. It's literally ideal. So I'm just going back in now with a little bit more of the lavender powder. And the reason that I've chosen lavender, which is the lightest shade in Fenty's range, is because I want this part of the eye to be the most bright. Looking up as I do this, so to avoid any creasing, I'm just going to leave this bake on for about... 10 minutes or so i'm going to be going in with my nyx cosmetics bronzer in the shade deep tan and i'm going to be using a mac 168 contour brush and i'm just going to be going over the places where i put the cream contour down the back of the cheekbone taking a little bit more product tapping off any excess So a little bit on the sides of the forehead and I'm actually dragging the contour a little bit to where I put that cream highlight and that's just because we don't want it to look like loads of brown around the edge and then all of a sudden a big white white spot in the middle. We want it to look natural. 
So because this is an extreme highlight and extreme contour and I'm trying to explain everything in as much detail as I can and give you a perfect example of what I'm trying the techniques that I'm actually trying to demonstrate. I'm gonna go back in again with the Fenty Beauty matchsticks in the shade Mocha because I feel like before when I was trying to explain about you know the lips having a shadow underneath, maybe I can go a little bit more extreme with this just to, to really emphasize what I'm saying. So I just took my P. Louise Acid Rain Yellow Brush, getting a little bit of product, and I'm gonna be taking this under the bottom lip. So now I feel like we can more see what I was referring to before. Like how much fuller that bottom lip actually looks. I'm just building that product up. So it almost looks like a lip liner from where I'm seeing anyway. So yeah, like that, that bottom lip looks so much more full now. I'm just going to be doing the same to the cupid bow and I'm also going to be putting a little bit just over the lip here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be dusting away this under eye base and to do this I'm going to be using my Primark 101 HD Kabuki brush. Very gently just sweeping that away but also as I'm sweeping I'm making it be pressed into the skin and all that that baking technique does is mattifies the under eye so it sets the concealer which means that the concealer won't move even if you are under hot lights or you know if you're outside in humid temperatures or anything and it really brightens the under eye up and as you can see this part now looks quite lifted. So the NYX Cosmetics bronzer is my normal everyday bronzer what I would use normally. However, because this is more of an extreme look, I'm going to be using the dark contour. So we can say that this one is the sleek one, it's very dark, and this one is the NYX Cosmetics one. So I'm going to be going back in with the MAC Cosmetics 168 brush. And I'm just going to be placing the darkest at the back. So I'm just going to take my sponge now and I'm just going to dab over anywhere that I think looks a little bit harsh. Because the contour has came a little bit lower than I would ideally like, I'm going to be going back in with, you guessed it, the matchsticks again in the shade Bamboo and I'm just going to be carving out again. Just to the corners of the mouth and making sure that they actually do look even. So I'm going to actually take a clean sponge now. So I'm going to be taking the Morphe sponge and just pressing this into the skin. To set underneath the contour, I'm going to be going back in with my Fenty Beauty powder in the shade Lavender. And I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty sponge, dip the sponge into the product, wipe off any excess which is a good way to save product. And I'm just gonna bake underneath the contour now. All I'm gonna do now is go back in with my little P. Louise brush. Just go down the side of the nose again, making sure that those lines are straight. A little bit on the tip. And then with my clean sponge, just gonna make sure that these lines are not too harsh. And we can just see instantly how much difference this made to my actual nose. Just pressing it over this bit as well because my cupid's bow is looking a little bit, a little bit harsh. I'm now going to take the Real Techniques brush again and I'm going to go in with the NYX Cosmetics bronzer. Going from the front of the brow. I'm just dusting this over the lips, cupid's bow as well. So... Clean Morphe sponge. So with a clean brush now, this is the Morphe M441 brush. I'm just going to make sure that there's no harsh, harsh lines and everything's blended. So now I'm going to be dusting off my underneath the contour bake with my Spectrum A01 brush. So now with... 
the same little real techniques brush just dipping into the next bronzer tapping off excess i'm just going to go underneath my bottom lip to make sure that, that contour stays where i placed it before because any cream product needs to be set because this is an extreme highlighting contour look i'm going back in again with the sleek makeup dark contour kit And I'm going to be taking some of this just down the neck so that the neck and the head blend together. So I'm just going to take my Morphe sponge now and just dab over where I put the contour. So I'm going to be taking the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. How gorgeous is the packaging? So, like I said, I'm going to be taking a matte blush and I'm going to be using the Peaches and Creams PC03 brush. So, yeah, I'm going to be going in with Lena. I'm going to be dusting this blush back into the contour as it looks a lot more natural than just being on the apples of the cheeks. I'm just going to take my Sigma HD sponge, dipping into the Fenty Beauty Lavender Powder and I'm just going to be getting the centre of the nose which will just give it a bit more a bit more staying power and it will also just highlight the nose a little bit more as well. Now for actual powder highlight, I'm going to be taking the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. Now can we see how much that stands out, especially because you've put the contour on the lips. So what you want to do is just keep the lighter parts just in the centre of the lips. If you want lips to look really pouty, you want the focus to be on the centre. Now I'm curling my highlight up into the arch of the brow as I always do. I'm just going to be dusting off this powder down the centre of the nose. I'm also going to be doing some highlight just on the tip of the nose and then the bridge of the nose as well. A little bit of highlight just at the beginning of the eyebrows as that always shows up in photos and looks really good on camera so i'm going to be going in with lips now and i'm going to be taking one of my favorite lip liner pencils which is the nyx cosmetics pencil in the shade coco now where we've highlighted as in see where that nice shimmery gold line is that will give you a good a good guide as to where to put the lip liner that the highlight will be just above your natural lip line so that's where i always that's where i always take my lip liner to to where the highlight is can we just appreciate that i've actually put no lip liner on the middle of my lips yet on the middle of the bottom lips and to me that still looks lip lined but that's because of the contour so even that looks very full and very lip lined but it's not not yet oh uh, yeah i'm going to be doing a bit of an ombre effect but which will actually still make the lips look bigger anyway because we are contouring the sides of the lips and leaving the middle part the lightest like so so as you can see straight away the focus is definitely on the middle of the lip now just going to make sure that under under the lip contour looks seamless so now i'm going to be taking the nyx cosmetics lip lingerie in the shade satin ribbon so i'm just going to take my finger and pat the product in and then now all i'm going to be doing is going just in the center of the lips with the fenty beauty universal lip luminizer gloss bomb in the shade diamond milk and i'm just literally putting this in the center because this will make your lips look even more bigger just by having shine in the centre. It will make your lips appear more full. So all I'm going to do now is take my Real Techniques powder brush and go back into the same bronzer and I'm just going to use this to bronze the neck. That's definitely looking so much better now just with a little bit of bronzer on the neck. So guys, this is the finished and completed look. So if we just take a little quick closer look so we can see how highlighted and contoured and dewy and glowy the skin is. 
So now I did just go over the lips just with a little bit more of that NYX Cosmetics and Satin Ribbon and I, I just put a little bit more in the corners because I weren't really loving the ombre effect. I felt it was too, too harsh for the look. So that's all I've done. I just thought I'd update you there. So I hope that everybody learned something and I will see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and follow me on Instagram, which I will leave on screen down below.